Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. Christos was pressed. Christos on this. Christos on the Christos on the No Spanish today. Please be seated. Today's Gospel reading is the Gospel reading that we read on this great Sunday of the Myrrhbury Women, for it tells us the story of how the women who had been with Jesus, uh, his mother, Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Salome, how they all had gathered after Christ's death, and they, in the Jewish tradition, decided that they would go and anoint him with spices, which was the Jewish tradition. Uh, after the Sabbath was over, the first day of the week, which was in the Jewish uh, calendar, was Sunday. And so they went to the tomb, and they asked amongst themselves, they thought amongst themselves, who's going to roll away the stone? And of course, when they got there, the stone had already been rolled away. And they went and discovered the angel sitting there, saying, Christ is risen. And go tell his disciples and let it be known. And we see then that they were very afraid. First of all, they'd never seen an angel probably, except for Mary, the mother of Jesus. None of them had ever seen an angel before. And so they uh, went and they were afraid. The scripture tells us they were afraid and they said nothing. For they were very afraid, and they went to tell the disciples. Now, what's interesting about this gospel reading is that it's the gospel reading just prior to the gospel reading for Matins of last night. And it is that gospel reading that I want to focus on this morning. Because it goes a little bit further and talks about what Christ did after they saw him and what he commanded them to do. When he arose on the first day of the week on Sunday, the first person that he appeared to after the women were leaving the tomb was Mary Magdalene. And the scripture says he first appeared to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. As you remember, he had cleaned her from these, cleansed her from these seven demons. And so it was to her that he first appeared. And she went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. In other words, the disciples. She went to tell the disciples that Christ had risen. And the disciples, according to this account, were weeping and mourning. Imagine. They had been told that Christ was the Son of God, that he would be killed, that he'd be crucified, that he'd be raised on the third day, and yet the disciples didn't believe. They were mourning and they were weeping. And Mary Magdalene went in and told them that Christ had risen. The tomb was empty. And when they heard that, that he was alive and it had been seen by her, they did not believe. They didn't believe Mary Magdalene. The disciples who had spent all this time with Jesus Christ did not believe her. And after that, he, meaning Christ, appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. Two of the other women. And they turned around and they went back to the disciples. And they told them, Christ appeared to us as we were walking along the road and spoke to us. And the scripture says, but they did not believe them either. Disciples were told twice by Mary Magdalene and by the two other women that Christ had risen and they didn't believe. It was only then that Christ appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table. And this is where we picked up last Sunday's gospel reading. He came through the wall and he appeared to them. And it's interesting because last Sunday we read from the Gospel according to St. John, and heard that story. But today we read from the Gospel of St. Mark, 
and it has a little bit of difference to it and something that is quite interesting. Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. He rebuked the disciples. Of course, witnesses had come and told them that Christ had risen and the tomb was empty and they didn't believe him. Christ rebuked them. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He gave them a commandment. He was giving them something to do, something to help their unbelief. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Christ was very clear. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Those who are baptized will be saved. And those who do not believe will be condemned. Brothers and sisters, this is our great commandment also. We are to do exactly what the disciples did. We are, going, we are to go into all the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, the risen Christ, the glory of the risen Christ. Preach the gospel. And those who believe will be saved, but those who don't will be condemned. Very strong words from our Lord Jesus Christ, directly to the disciples. That is our task. That is our goal. The Murbury women were witness to the risen Christ. He came to them first, and then he told them, Go tell these disciples, which they did. And then he told his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel. If we could only do that, if we would only do that, we would see the blessing and the glory of Jesus Christ in each of our lives to the fullest. But if we're afraid to do that, if we're unwilling to do that, if we don't think it's our job to do that, then Christ will hold us accountable. I gave you a commandment and you did not do it. That's a terrible predicament to be in. Think about it. Redouble our efforts to go out into the world and preach the gospel. It's our commandment, it's our duty, it's our job. And we will be held accountable for doing it or not doing it. So on this wonderful day, the Murbury women, think about them. Seeing the risen Christ and speaking with him. And telling others, telling the disciples, he's risen. <coughs> Don't be like the disciples of the unbelieving. Instead, be believing. And take the word of the risen Christ out into the world and preach it to every creature. Christ is risen. Christos was Christ. 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 Christos was Christ.